Hi guys. So we're going to cover the roundhouse kick uh, variations in this video. Um, if you haven't seen the front kick video, it's going to be very similar to what we did there. It's going to be one with the lead leg or a variation with the lead leg and then a variation with the rear leg. So one's going to be slide roundhouse and the other's going to be rear leg roundhouse. So like I always do when teaching these basic kicks, I always like to teach them on the wall first. Reason being is we can practice on our alignment, on our foot shape, all of these components without having to worry about the balance that, you know, that comes later as we develop that uh, balance, coordination, strength, all of those things that help keep us upright and stable in our kicks. All right, so I'm gonna grab myself a wall right here, start with my left leg, my lead leg, and we'll put my right hand on the wall just like so. So for my roundhouse, what I'm doing is I tell the students to strike with your shoelaces. So the part of your foot, all right, top part of your foot right there where your shoelace is, not your toes, not your ankle, but what's in between, that's gonna be the striking surface for the roundhouse kick. So I'll go sideways so you can kind of see the foot shape a little bit better, and then I'll switch this way so you can see my alignment, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring my knee up. All right, so in this case, I'm gonna kick waist level since my knee is waist level, basically. At the same time, I'm gonna make sure that my heel is at least mostly facing toward my target. All right, so my heel should be basically, you know, turned 180 degrees around so that my heel is pointing directly ahead of me. My knee, or excuse me, my head, my knee, and my heel are all in one line right there. So if someone was gonna take a big pencil, they would be able to draw one uninterrupted line from my head to my knee to my heel. What happens often is people start kind of bringing their knee that way, or, you know, I don't know, doing wonky things, usually involving the knee. So we wanna be sure that we're very critical with that alignment. So here, this is my chamber. Bring it up, head, knee, heel alignment. My heel is pointed in front, uh, 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 in to the front of my target. And my foot, I'm gonna curl my toes, almost like I'm curling them back, all right? So I'm getting ready to strike with my instep. And I'm here, and of course my hand is up by my face. All right, that's the chamber. The execution of the kick now, all I'm gonna do is my knee is the hinge, and I'm just bringing it out like so. Notice I'm pointing my toes toward my target because again, I'm striking with that instep right here, shoelaces, all right? Chamber, lockout, recoil, and down. So it's very important that your knee doesn't start you know, wobbling about. That'll make your kick inaccurate um, and not strong. So one more time, chamber, lockout, recoil, set it down. All right, you know, show it from this angle so you can see it, the alignment. Chamber, all right, you see head, knee, heel alignment. Lockout, recoil, and set it down. All right, so we're gonna put those parts all together to now execute both our slide roundhouse kick and our rear leg roundhouse kick. So with the slide step, again, I'm covering distance, I'm closing the distance between myself and my opponent or my target. So I'm here, chamber, lockout, recoil, down. One more time, chamber, lockout, recoil, and set it down. And you see that I have the head, knee, heel alignment, okay? That's the slide roundhouse, slide roundhouse from the other side. Chamber, lockout, recoil, set it down. Chamber, lockout, recoil, set it down. That's the slide roundhouse. Rear leg roundhouse, we're still gonna be covering that distance, but initiating the technique is gonna be my rear leg, all right? So I'm here, I'm in a good fighting stance, and I'm gonna bring my rear leg, demonstrate on the wall, just as I want you guys to practice to remove balance from the equation. So I'm gonna swing my leg wide, and as I swing it, I wanna make sure that I, my uh, leg that's making contact with the ground, the heel is facing dead ahead. So again, head, knee, heel, alignment. So one more time, I'm here, and I stop right there. Once my heel is all the way turned, my knee and my head are in alignment. Control your, uh, the momentum, because at first, when you're first doing this kick, the tendency will be to over-rotate, and then your knee and your head and your heel are more like doing a triangle rather than a line. So one more time, I'm here, head, knee, heel alignment, good foot shape, and fire your technique, just like you were doing with the slide roundhouse. All right, now I feel ready to practice it off the wall, so I'm gonna to come toward you with a couple of rear leg roundhouses. Here we go. No 
Okay, so you can kind of get the idea right there. Um, obviously, your alignment and everything won't necessarily be perfect every time, but as long as you keep those checkpoints in mind, are my head, my knee, and my heel, are they in, in alignment? Am I flexing my foot strongly so I can strike with the instep of the heel? Or excuse me, not the heel, but the instep of my foot, my shoelaces? Then you'll be in good shape. And like I say, for all the kicks, if in doubt, just do some more wall kicks. It'll help strengthen your muscles, um, help improve the balance, and it'll just help with your kick mechanics all around. So that's it for today, slide roundhouse and rear leg roundhouse.